Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be finding a hidden pirate treasure. This is one that I had no idea even existed until I got a message the other day from Kelly on Facebook who said that I should check this out. And once again, this is a good reminder. If you have any mysteries or secrets or things you would like me to check out in Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Online, just feel free to message me on my Facebook page. It's been really cool to interact with you guys over the last couple of weeks and months, and some of you guys sent some incredible suggestions, so thank you for all of that. So anyways, Kelly suggested that I check out this pirate treasure. It's under the bridge east of Pleasant, crossing into the Blue Water Marsh. And I had no idea this was even here, but it turns out that yes, there is a pirate treasure. So that's where we are right now, and you can see underneath this bridge, there is someone looking to bury treasure with a shovel, and there is like a rotting alligator. And there's also a chest that we can search as well. And it looks like our character that was burying this treasure had like a peg leg or a prosthetic leg, which was a common trait of pirates. So again, pretty interesting stuff. So of course I wanted to see what was inside of the treasure chest and of course I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't just like a mountain of gold, but there were still some goodies there for us to check out. There was a coin cup and a coin sack that gave us around, I would say like $35 in total. And there was also some bitters that we could take as well. So. Obviously not an extreme amount of money. I mean, I say not an extreme amount of money, but $35 back in 1899 was still a lot. Now, just because I was curious, in case you guys are as well, $35 in 1899 would be over $1,000 today in 2019. In fact, the total would be $1,061.44. So, I don't know if I would go out of my way to bury a thousand dollars, but then again, I'm also not a pirate and I'm also not in a situation where I would need to bury any money. But regardless, that is still pretty cool. I had no idea that this was a thing in Red Dead Redemption 2, but it made me want to investigate this a little more. So sort of diving into the scene here, again, it looks as if a pirate came into the shore and was trying to bury some treasure underneath this bridge. And I would imagine he was attacked by an alligator. Now, I don't know if the alligator was the one that took his leg or if he had lost his leg previously. I can only imagine that this guy got into a scuffle with the alligator, maybe tried to attack him with the shovel, which is why the alligator did not survive and is rotting away on the edge of the water. Now, there was nothing more I could gather from this scene. There weren't any letters, notes, or documents. There was nothing we could take from the actual pirate itself. But this did make me want to investigate some other pirate-esque locations that have been discovered in-game. And that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of this video to see if we can find any more treasure. So anyways, that was pretty cool. But again, I wanted to move on. And I knew that there was a pirate ship sort of just off the coast of Clements Point. Now, Clements Point is the camp location that we're actually in in Chapter 3. So what I did, because I was playing as John Marston and he can't swim, I loaded my horse up with some stimulants and we went across the shore to this little island right here because that's where an abandoned pirate ship can actually be found. Now, what's also kind of interesting is on this island as well and near this pirate ship, are a lot of guarma exclusive animals like the green iguana. So that itself was pretty cool and might be useful for some of you guys and that are looking to fill out the rest of your compendium because if you missed any of the animals on guarma, which you might not have even been paying attention to, well, you can actually go to this location and find some of them. So that's kind of cool. However, we're gonna be checking out the ship because there is some interesting things here. It does look like it's an abandoned pirate ship and we sort of get more confirmation from this if we go on the inside. Now the inside is a little bit tough to navigate, but there are some things we can grab from here, including the rarest valuable of them all, the tricorn hat, which is basically just like a pirate's captain hat, which is so cool. Now unfortunately there is nothing else that we can take from the inside of this ship, 
but that itself is amazing. So you really can look like a pirate with this hat. And again, it does confirm that pirates have crash landed near the Red Dead Redemption 2 map. So I'm not sure if in any way, shape or form that pirate that was burying treasure underneath the bridge is connected to the ship. But just for the sake of this story, let's say that they are. So here's what I imagine happened. The pirates ultimately crashed their ship, as you guys saw right there. And then what happened is the captain of this ship, in an attempt to bury his treasure, wanted to take it far away from the ship's crash. So what he did is he brought it somewhere into Lemoyne, which isn't too far away. We're still in Lemoyne right now. And he decided to bury his treasure. Now, the reason I think this theory adds up is because if we actually go back to the person underneath the bridge, the pirate, he isn't wearing a hat or there's no hat found on him. And it would make sense that maybe he left his hat behind upon crashing his ship. Maybe he was so focused on getting the treasure out of there that he didn't even bother to put his hat back on. So that would make sense. And again, I think that's a pretty plausible theory right there as to what happened with this ship and what happened with the pirate and his treasure. Now, even though that theory is pretty solid, there is one more that I wanted to dive into, and that is another pirate that can actually be found. Now, this pirate is actually right off of the edge of Saint Denis, sort of in the marshy swamplands. And this is actually where we find the broken pirate sword. It's a pirate that looks to have been in a rowboat, and you can see the remains of his skeleton. And this is where you'll actually find the broken pirate sword. So we know that this was indeed a pirate. Now, the only problem with this as being our pirate that was bearing the treasure is this guy is here, as we can tell by his skeleton. So there's no way that he would have reincarnated himself to be able to go bury his own treasure. However, it could have been his friend. I mean, this looks like a pretty big sized rowboat. So who's to say that there wasn't more than one person here? And maybe his friend had died where the other one went to shore and ultimately buried the treasure, whatever it was. So in my opinion, that right there is probably the best two theories for the actual pirate and how that treasure ended up in the shore. Now, again, it's not a ton of money, but uh, it is still pretty cool to check out. Now, this has nothing to do with the treasure, but I was experimenting with the broken pirate sword and I realized that it is not the most effective tool at taking out alligators. So again, if you are checking out this area, do be warned. And the only other thing I thought might have been connected to this entire story was this like abandoned cabin really close to where we actually found the pirate in sort of the rowboat. Um, I think it's one of those official shacks that you can go in but it didn't seem to have like anything interesting in there. So I don't think that's in any way, shape or form related to our pirate mystery. But uh, once again, it is a pretty cool place that you can check out. So I'm trying to think outside of the Guarma chapter, is there anything else in Red Dead Redemption 2 that involves pirates outside of these small little Easter eggs and mysteries that we see here? And the more I think about it, I don't think there is like one reference of pirates. So I really think this would be a cool angle that Rockstar could explore if they ever choose to do like a single player or a story mode DLC or expansion. Something about pirates would be awesome. I know a lot of people want to see, you know, sort of an undead nightmare too with the zombies and obviously aliens is something that a lot of people would point to. But I think the pirate theme could be amazing, especially given the location, which is going to be in Lemoyne, or at least could be one of the locations. I just think that would be an incredible theme to explore. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. And that right there is our journey finding a hidden pirate treasure in Red Dead Redemption 2. Let me know in the comments down below, do you think there is something more to this mystery that I missed that I didn't include in this video. And again, if you do feel like you have any idea, please feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. I will have a link to that in the description, or you can write me in the comments down below. But I think Facebook is just preferred because you can send more. You can send photos and videos and stuff like that. And that might be useful for solving a mystery like this. So again, let me know in the comments down below, or you can reach out to me on Facebook. But anyways, that's all the info that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care.
and I'll see you guys in the next video.